Now, what makes the perfect YouTube apology video? A couple things. There's a couple things. You need to tell your audience immediately that this is a heavy video to make and it's an extreme burden on your shoulders. Play the victim. You, you want to make sure that people know that uh, this has been a great inconvenience to you, okay? This has been a big problem for you. I don't want to waste your time with this nonsense. Uh, this is a, a massive burden to me. To, to be fair, I'm on lockdown. Uh, I've been I've been drinking beer and gin till five o'clock in the morning, and getting up till uh, uh, maybe three o'clock in the afternoon. So I, I could have been in bed now and and just be sleeping off my hangover, just in time to go out and get drunk again. Um, it, it's, it's a pain. It's painful for us all. He started off by saying that he doesn't want to waste our time and then he proceeds to waste our time. So you might want to bring up something like, uh, let's say, uh, I'm getting cyberbullied. I've been getting cyberbullied. <laughs> or if you're in deep trouble, you, what you want to do is you want to bring in death threats. There's a secret underground mafia that are trying to kill me. Because basically anyone that messes up on the internet will get death threats. It's just how the internet works. Unfortunately, there's going to be that 0.01% of people that go too far. And that's an effective way to just diminish every other criticism. The 99.9% .9 of everything else that I, people have to say. Excuse me, uh, I'm getting death threats, okay? Oh, I messed up? Oh, well, a few selected people have decided to send mean comments to me. So, I think your point is invalid. Already so much have happened. First off, you start off with a dog. That's an amazing thing to do. You want to bring in like a pet, something that everyone loves. Everyone loves dogs. It's not okay getting death threats, and I think everyone can agree on that. But it's not a valid excuse either. If you get death threats, take it up with the police. There's no reason to bring it up to your audience as a tool of defending yourself. I've seen this done so many times, even by the media, uh, mainstream media as well. Uh, oh, we're getting so many hateful comments or death threats or people are being so mean or yada yada yada. You know, it's sort of playing the victim mentality. And it's sort of saying that everyone that criticizes me is doing this thing. Number two, what you want to do is shift blame. Shift blame whatever you could do, okay? Never take responsibility. If you take responsibility, then that's admitting that you're wrong. And doing that, that's just impossible. A select few of American people who who live right next door to me, like millions of miles away, uh, have been threatening to kill me on, on my internet channel, in my comments. And the Illuminati, who don't really exist, they've also threatened me. So anything you think about me, uh, or anything I've said, or anything I ever said that will upset you, um, it means nothing, because I've had death threats. NEVER ADMIT THAT YOU WERE WRONG! Instead of apologizing, just make sure that you can tell everyone how great you are as a person. Laughing at Siamese twins, that wasn't me, that was Aussie Outlaw. Chinese people being rubbish at singing, that wasn't me, that was Lucy Luxa. Indian movies being awful, uh, like and like a cheap grease, that wasn't me. That, that was not a great gamer. Americans being thick as shit. Not me. Again, Johnny Five. Uh, Germans having no sense of humour. Not me. Again, Critical Cripple. All them things, I defended them, them nations and said, um, no, you're wrong. Uh, because I am the nicest person on the planet that I invented. I totally love all my fans and followers and I would not do anything to hurt them. In fact, I, I go out of my way to protect my fans. Uh, also, I, I'm, I'm loaded. I'm sure he loves his fans, just in the same way you love your money. So I don't necessarily think he's lying. I just think it's a, it's a good way to start a video. You want to make sure that you tell your fans how much you love them right off the bat, but, and, and not acknowledge any wrongdoing that you've done. Just that you have just so much love to give. So for anybody who is upset for any of the things that I said in the past, I am deeply sorry. Um, I, I, I apologize from the bottom of my heart. I, I did not mean to upset you, and I, I don't want to lose you as fans, and you know, I, I love you. This is not an apology. This is a, I'm trying to fathom what is happening to me here. I'm trying to process what is going on right now. This is not an apology. This is a reaction video to 
uh, the outburst that is probably happening right now, I imagine, on Twitter or in different news media. I think that's really the reason why we got this reaction instead of an apology. Because she was losing subscribers, and you know, you gotta pull the plug quick. You gotta do something real fast if that's happening. Who is this guy with yellow shirt on with spastic writing on it? I, I don't know who he is, you know, subscribe to me, I, I love you, and sorry for anything I did in past, like, see ya. If you haven't subscribed to God, you're not, but if you haven't subscribed to God, you're not, but if you haven't subscribed to God, you're not, but...